As we age, the population of healthy bacteria changes in time. A newborn has about 80 to 90% bifidobacteria. That's the normal state of a breastfed newborn. But when you age, going through childhood and then adulthood, and then you reach about 50, the population of the friendly bacteria that protects you against disease is lessened all the way to about 25%. And these bacteria are replaced by unfriendly ones such as E. coli and Clostridia and all those families of bacteria that you've heard about on the news that may cause, not always, but may cause disease. But when you have the protection going down, about 25%, then it's the open door for new processes that will get into disease, that it'd be inflammatory bowel disease, or irritable bowel syndrome, or polyps, or cancer, or chronic diarrhea, or chronic constipation. All of those are linked with a change in the protection in the microflora. And that change is called dysbiosis. It's not one bacteria, it's a change in the population. One key factor is that bifidobacteria go down and the unfriendly one go up. So what can you do to prevent that? Well, you look at the factors that will affect the microflora. You have stress, diet, alcohol intake, antibiotic, but merely aging will do that. So what can you do? You can't stop aging, we all age. So what do you do? Look for something that will increase your concentration of good bacteria, namely a probiotic pro formula, a complex product, maybe like a pro -backlac that you find on the shelf, something that will contain several bacteria. It's mostly bifidobacteria. When you age around 50, remember your good bacteria have gone down to about 25%. So you want to increase that because if you do so, you prevent the appearance of disease. Once the disease is there, I don't know if you can reverse a cancer, but you can certainly prevent it by high fiber content in your diet and increase the bacterial con uh, concentration, mostly if you do bacteria, it stops the appearance of the early disease. So look for a probiotic that has definite strains and high concentration of bifidobacteria.